Doug Karsh at the Glick Fieldhouse. Michigan just wrapped up their final practice. Michigan and Ohio State coming up on Saturday. Coach, you ready? Well, it doesn't really matter if I'm ready. I mean, I think we're all ready to play the game. You know, it's uh, there's an intensity of the week, and it's uh, exciting. This week always is. So uh, uh, we'll wait till 12.07 tomorrow and kick it off. And uh, two teams that have a lot of respect for each other going out there and playing football. The team this week, how would you describe the week of practice? I think we've had a you know a very good week. You know, I, the best week we're, we're going to find out. But I think the attention, the detail, the intensity, the focus, all those things that go along with it, I thought we've done a good job with. What are some of the things, the attention to detail that you're really focused on and you hope you see from your team tomorrow? Well, I think, you know, just as simple things as your personnel, you know, who's in and out of the game uh, offensively. You know, there are a little bit more personnel issues there than defensively, but communication, uh, the ability to uh, play, <coughs> excuse me, very focused in what we're trying to do and, and keep ourselves into the game. How about the guys on the staff? There's some first-timers in this rivalry. Do you prepare them at all for this, or is it just another game? Well, it's never just another game, but, you know, these guys are veterans of a lot of football games, and, uh, you know, some of them have uh, uh, been through the Civil War and what that game's all about in the state of Oregon, uh, but nothing compares to this. Last week, Denard really took care of the football well, obviously a key to the game. Did a light go on? Something happened there, or was it just something that came out in game time last week? Well, I think he's been maturing each week and as a quarterback at Michigan, and I think, uh, you know, uh, He's done a nice job with our football team. He's handled it well. Uh, he's made a couple decisions he'd like to have back, but he's a competitor, and he wants to improve every time he takes the, uh, the field. And your defense has really come on lately. Are they ready for an Ohio State team that now has a full complement of players? they got all their weapons. Well, you know, and, and they're a talented group. You know, I mean, they are um, – their, their offensive line is uh, – um, has a lot of experience. Uh, Heron has uh, hurt Michigan in the past, and uh, I think uh, Braxton Miller's done a terrific job uh, of managing the offense and making things happen as a dual-threat quarterback. Final thing you've seen in this rivalry when a team comes in and plays their best game of the season, you probably expect that from Ohio State. How do you prepare your kids that maybe what they saw in film isn't going to be the same team? Well, I think uh, they understand that. You know, you can throw all the records, rankings, and everything else out of this game. And uh, I think uh, we've got a nice demeanor about us and a nice focus, and we'll be very businesslike tonight and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Coach, thanks for your time. Thanks, Doug.